in the previous lecture we added the images to our project okay so we have the images folder right here now what we want to do is create and design the graphical user interface the interface the user will interact with so let's go to the watch slot app swift watch app folder and inside you see the interface the storyboard i want you to click on it and this will appear with the hello world okay so we're going to design what the user is going to interact with you can just click on the hello world and click on delete to remove it and now let's add um, the uh, casino slot machine interface so right here in the bottom right remember to uh, search here if you do not see it you can always click back here and look for groups okay so type group and you see a container that manages the layout of other items so uh, for those of you that come from the iphone and ipad background um, this is new um, groups are ways to basically um, contain um, sets of uh, controls and elements okay and they automatically lay out for you uh, horizontally or vertically so i want you to drag and drop this right here okay and we're going to add more groups so um add actually four groups okay one two three four okay then what we're going to do is add a button so type button okay and this is the button just put it below the last group okay It's not easy, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to drag and drop it right here, okay? So if you have issues like I just did, just drag and drop it right there. It will put it below the group. Now, if you do not see this interface, make sure to add this right here, and this will show the, the interface, and this one right here as well, okay? All right. Okay, and one more group. So type again, group. All right, and drag and drop this under the button right here. All right, so now we have four groups, one button, and another group. Now let's add the images to our group, okay? So I'm gonna click here and type image, okay? And here we go, we see an image. Now I'm gonna drag and drop this right here and that's gonna add an image, okay? Now what I wanna do is um, work on this image and I'm gonna select um, different attributes to it. So in this image, I'm gonna go to the attribute um, panel, the tab right here and tab type uh, slot and I'm gonna look for the J down okay so here we go slot j down now it's way too big we need three of them in a row so what i'm going to do is change some um, some of its attributes such as the position i want it to be centered and i want the size to be fixed width okay and i'm going to put a width of 44 press enter okay and i'm going to put a fixed height of 20 okay so if you do that then you see it's gonna um it's gonna uh, resize it to some something that's a lot uh, smaller so that will fit on the Apple Watch. Now, what I'm gonna show you is a trick. Now, I'm just gonna click right here in the interface controller scene on the slot, and I'm gonna press the option or Alt key down, okay? So I, I uh, still hold it, and I'm gonna select this one and, and, and just drag and drop it below it in the same group, okay? You guys see the plus sign? That means it's gonna add it, and just release the uh, mouse. Okay, and there you go, that added the second one. Now I'm gonna do the exact same thing. So drag and drop this below. All right, and now we have three of them, perfect. Okay, you guys saw the trick? Now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna show you a different trick, is select those three, okay, by clicking on the shift, okay? So I have the three selected. I'm gonna drag and drop this by pressing the, the key down to the next group, okay? So have the Alt or the Option key down, okay? By doing this, this will, um, I messed up, so I'm going to press Command-Z to undo, and I'm going to do it again, pressing on this one, Shift, pressing the last one, the Option key down, and drop it to the second group, okay, right here. Make sure it's within the group, okay, and let it go. Okay, as you can see now, the three are added there. Now, I do not want these images, so I still have the three selected, and I'm going to go in the image, and I'm going to select slot 7, and instead of down, I'm going to look for slot 7 up, okay? And there we go. We have the three right here. Okay, so now I'm going to do the exact same thing for the next group. So I'm going to select these three with the shift, press the option key down or the alt key, and drag and drop this with the mouse to the next group. Okay, and release. All right, now instead of seven up, I'm going to look for seven down. Okay, now the beauty of doing this, uh, this copy with the alt key down it's that uh, we're keeping all the attributes, so I did not have to change anything there, okay? Isn't that great? All right. 
and uh, let's do the same thing for the next group so I'm actually gonna select um, these three as well okay and I'm gonna press the alt key down and drop it to the next group and release all right and now instead of the seven I'm gonna look for something else instead of uh, J I'm gonna look for the K okay for the K and this time it's gonna be K up and press enter all right so as you can see we are we're slowly forming the uh, slot machine okay it's starting to look like uh, 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 rows and columns of uh, of uh, slot items okay now in the click on the button and we want the button to say spin okay so right here under the attribute we want the, the text to say spin all right perfect and that's all you want to change here now you can play with the attributes but that's fine for us and right here inside of the group we want to add the currency um, the uh, currency token so it looks like an image so just drag and drop an image right here okay this time we're gonna dra drag and drop it straight here and the image you want the image to be the currency okay so write coin okay coin.png now the coin is way too big so what we're gonna do is the size we're gonna say fixed width and we're gonna put a width of 30 okay and fixed height and we're gonna put a height of 30 okay perfect now we're gonna drop um, a label okay so look for label here okay there we go displays text perfect and we're gonna drag and drop it to the right of the currency which is gonna be inside of the same group okay and instead of saying label we're gonna say 100 now what we want to do is that 100 we want to have it horizontally uh, and vertically uh, aligned to the uh, coin Im image so what we're gonna do is do um, position horizontal center okay and vertical um, we're gonna put center okay now if we want to have the number closer to the coin instead of horizontal center put horizontal left okay now it's up to you I, I want to do that but you don't have to okay so there we go now what we want to do um, in the next lecture we're gonna actually run this in the simulator and see how it looks like see you guys in the next lecture